If you're just getting into boots, it can seem intimidating with all of the options out there, but don't worry, in this video we are going over a ton of different boot options, all of which are super easy to wear. So let's kick it off with number one. Despite how much of a polarizing figure Kanye West is in pop culture, there is no denying his ability to design a piece of footwear, and in my opinion, the Yeezy boots are one of his best. They are a perfect combination of hiking boot and high top sneaker, all combined with mesh and suede paneling that sits atop a chunky midsole. They have a signature monochromatic look in a wide range of pastel colors. The quality on these is really nice. The suede feels premium and the craftsmanship is there for sure. However, sizing on these is super weird. Usually when it comes to boots, because they don't have all that soft padding on the inside, you typically have to size down. But with these, I found they fit very small. So I recommend that you half size up. I normally wear an 8.5 in sneakers and I definitely think I should have gone with a nine in these. Styling wise, since this colorway has a combat boot kind of vibe, I paired them with some army fatigue pants and a Carhartt shirt. All of the colorways are super wearable, so you can't miss with either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link every clothing item I am wearing in this video in the description box below. So in return, if you could hit that like button, it would mean the world to me. And if you love product recommendation videos, just like this one and styling videos, be sure to subscribe. The next style of boots are the Cascade Hiking Boots from J. Crew. I mentioned in my Best Fall Brands video that J. Crew has gained a lot of attention this year with their rebrand and recent appointment of their new creative director, former Supreme designer, Brendan Babenzian. And with the rebrand means new aesthetic and designs. These look incredible in my opinion and the signature detail has to be those red laces. It features a Vibram outsole, tumbled leather, or they even come in suede. And at the time of making this video, they are currently 40% off, so you truly cannot beat that price. Another key detail of hiking boots are those metal lace loops which are featured on these black Morhuz boots. This is another great recommendation and these are super easy to style. Next up, we have a few recommendations from legendary boot and shoe brand Doc Martens. And honestly, I could probably make a whole video alone on this one segment. One of my favorites from them right now are the Tarek Crazy Horse Leather Lace Up Boots. For those that don't know, Crazy Horse is a type of leather that's premium quality, full grain, coated in wax that has a worn in kind of look. They have a classic yellow stitch on the midsole to match the yellow hiking laces. And despite how they may look, these boots have a more slim silhouette, meaning you can tuck your pants over the shoe quite easily. That's the case with the Doc Martens Cairo as well. This is probably the most affordable boot on this list. It's made from material called Mohawk, which is a non-woven synthetic with a matte finish and has a more sneaker-esque type of midsole. So the Cairo is definitely one of those more fashion forward type of designs. I really wouldn't wear it in any harsh climates. However, the Tarek is super versatile in that it both looks good and it's super durable. Moving forward, we have one of the most intriguing brands on this list and that is Suikoke. They're a Japanese brand that you might initially know from their iconic sandals and slides. They've collaborated with a ton of iconic companies like Lon Bon, Bape, John Elliott, even Ovio and Golf Wang. Two silhouettes that caught my attention though, the first being the Bauer. This is probably the best shoe on this list to wear in the snow. It has a nylon ripstop upper that's fully waterproof with a 3M Thinsulate inner lining to keep you warm. It also has a Vibram outsole and a bungee cord detail at the heel collar. Overall, it has this sort of minimal, retro futuristic type of vibe. And one thing that I really appreciate as a Canadian is a boot that actually functions in the snow and also looks really good. Another silhouette of theirs that I really like is called the Den. The shoe itself looks pretty plain, but it wasn't until I saw this fit that I thought, wow, it looks really nice. And the feature that makes it for me has to be the zipper. So I highly recommend you check them out if you have yet to. Okay, so now I need you guys to close your eyes and imagine a 16 year old Bryson waiting at a school bus, iPod in one hand, school uniform is on, and I'm wearing a black puffer jacket. On feet are the triple black Timberland six inch boots. 12 years later, I am still wearing them. These are by far one of the most iconic boots of all time, whether it's the wheat version or my favorite, which is the triple black. Buying a pair of Tim's gets you a premium suede waterproof boot that never goes out of style. And for all the short kings out there, these give you at least an extra two inches. And at 5'7", I mean, I could use all the help I can get. They come in a ton of different colors and styles as well as some iconic collaborations. So sky is the limit in terms of finding the right pair for you. Now in terms of style wise, they're pretty bulky so you'll need a straight or buka pair of jeans if you wanna tuck them over. But I actually love how they look with a slim fit pair of pants that sit atop the Tim's. Next up is the Clark's Wallaby boot. This is probably one of the most unsuspecting shoes that I own. When I first got them, I wasn't completely sold on them. It wasn't until I started wearing them in outfits that I truly fell in love. 
This shoe has a rich history within hip hop that is extended into everyday fashion. I think it's because of the timeless minimal design of the boot with that moccasin like toe box. It has a premium leather upper that's coated in wax and features the signature crepe sole that's comfortable but impossible to clean. If leather isn't for you, then they have a ton of different suede options as well. And like the other brands that I've mentioned so far, they have some iconic collaborations. And although it may be polarizing to some, they're super easy to style as well. And my favorite aspect is that you can easily wear them casually or even dress them up. It's the perfect combination of a casual boot with a sneaker like feel. Now, a few weekends ago, I went on a little vacation to Montreal where I went to the Essence store and what a store it is. It's literally like a museum inside there. And one of the cool things is that in order to shop, what you got to do is add some items to your Essence wish list, And then you're actually met with a stylist who will bring out the clothing items to you for you to try on. One of the boots I was eager to try are the Our Legacy Camion boots. I've seen a lot of people talk about these on TikTok, so I figured I'd give them a try. They have this really nice 1970s vibe to them and are made from a super premium leather. I nearly pulled the trigger, but they were a half size too small and I found the leather to be a bit too shiny. However, from a style perspective, they are easily the best on the list, also the most expensive, but these are the type of boots you buy once and they will last you a lifetime. Our Legacy is a high-end brand that I keep hearing more and more about and as my style evolves and matures, these are the types of items that I plan to invest in. Moving forward, we have the classic Red Wing 875 boot. You guys know that I love a good workwear style, whether it's a Detroit jacket or a pair of carpenter pants and there's no other boot on this list that embodies that style like these do. Red Wing has been around since the turn of the century, making heavy duty classics that are part of American heritage. They're so influential that they have a big following in Japan as part of the Japanese Americana movement. So of all of the boots on this list, these are easily equal parts fashion forward, but also heavy duty and practical. On the same street, you can literally see two guys wearing red boots. One of them is a laborer and one of them is like a hipster cool guy. And I mean that in the best way. The women around me have adored Uggs my entire life and I will never forget the first time I saw them on the Oprah show like 15 years ago. And other than Tom Brady, it doesn't seem that there are as many guys wearing Uggs, but I'm telling you that definitely needs to change. These are the new mole high mock. They feature premium suede on the outer with a fur lining that's cold weather proof up to minus 20. The key detail that separates these from the classic Uggs are the laces and my favorite detail, which is the side zipper for easy in and out. I think we can all agree that more high top sneakers need this feature. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever put your foot in a pair of Uggs, but I'm telling you if you haven't, it is easily one of the most comfortable things I've ever worn. So if you definitely prefer more of that cozy vibe, you need to try these out. Now, if you guys are also on the hunt for a great fall jacket, check this video out right here to see some great recommendations from varsity jackets to denim jackets, you name it. Or if you wanna learn about some of the hottest and best fall fashion trends, click this video right here. So why don't we check out one of those and I'll meet you guys there.